students we are learning branch accounts already we solved four problem in relation to debtor system in that uh, four problem the goods are invoiced to the branch at a cost price but uh, today we are going to learn some number five here the head office sends goods to branch at uh, invoice price what is invoice price invoice price is more than the cost price look at the problem con limited of chennai as a branch at patna goods are invoiced to the branch the selling price being cost plus 25 percent so the head of is sends goods to branch at a cost plus 25 percent so cost plus 25 percent so cost we know 100 plus profit 25 percent of cost that is 25 so our invoice price cost plus profit 125 is our invoice price now we should learn profit percentage on cost so profit how much 25 cost 100 so profit percentage on cost 25 by 100 that is given in the question we should convert the profit percentage on cost into profit percentage on sale profit percentage on sales that is profit 25 the invoice price that is called selling price 125 so we can use this 25 by 125 by taking stock reserve why we are taking stock reserve i said the invoice price is nothing but more than the cost price so there is a difference between cost price and invoice price that we called the excess profit included in opening stock goods sent to branch closing stock and goods return to head office we should remove that then only we can show the fair profitability of the branch yes students now i am going to start the problem stock opening stock which is invoice price yes opening stock should be debited to balance bd date 1189 opening stock debited the opening stock given at uh, invoice price then opening stock taken then closing stock credited to the branch account by balance cd stock it is also given in invoice price value 1500 then opening data or closing data opening data debited to the branch account under we have to write under the two balance bd value 700 the closing data recorded under by balance cd in the credit side of branch account closing data 900 then opening data or closing data both are taken then cash sales is given cash sales and cash collected from added together then it will be sent to the head office so credit side we can write by bank here we'll record the amount sent to head office what all we'll send a cash sales and a cash collected from debtor cash sales given in the question cash collected from debtor if it is given we can write or if it is not given we have to find and write it here yes next credit sale not required for the preparation of uh, branch account we can use only for the preparation of data account then goods invoiced from chennai that is goods invoiced from head office it should be debited to goods sent to branch it is also given in invoice price value 9100 then rent wages sundry expenses we should assume these expenses are paid by the head office so it will be debited as bank these are all the expenses paid by the head office rent 400 wages wages 340 then we have sundry expenses its value 80 here opening data is given closing data is given but cash collected from data is not given first we have to prepare branch data account to find cash collected from data we have to prepare branch data to find cash collected from data we'll take information relating to the data so opening data closing data credit sales we'll take so opening balance debited opening balance 700 closing balance credited value 900 then credit sale debited to the branch data account value 3500 so here the debit side value 
exceeds the credit side value the balancing figure we should consider as cash received from debtor balancing figure we should consider as cash received from debtor so 4200 minus 900 balance 3300 we will consider as cash collected from debtor that we should record in the credit side of branch account under the by bank the total of cash sales and cash collected from debtor should be sent to the head office so the total of these two 8700 then there is a difference between invoice price and cost price the difference which is included in opening stock and in goods sent to branch and in closing stock so the excess profit in the debit side we should remove by taking stock reserve in the credit side likewise the closing stock recorded in the credit side in this excess profit we should remove by debiting as stock reserve in the debit side yes we'll take stock reserve by stock reserve stock reserve on opening stock value 1250 opening stock value 1250 it should be multiplied by profit percentage on sales because profit percentage on cost is given we should convert uh, that profit percentage on cost into the sales yes 25 by it should be multiplied by 25 by 125 so 1250 into 25 by 125 so the excess profit included in the stock rupees 250 likewise we should take stock reserve on the goods sent to branch goods sent to branch record in the debit side its stock reserve should be taken in the credit side then only we can show the true profitability of the branch stock reserve on goods sent to branch 9100 into 25 by 125 so 9100 into 25 by 125 excess profit in the goods sent to branch 1820 likewise we should take stock reserve on closing stock closing stock record in the credit side each stock reserve we should take in the debit side stock reserve on closing stock the closing stock value 1500 it should be multiplied by 25 by 125 so 1500 into 25 by 125 so balance 300 students one more important information if goods return to head office is given for that also we have to take stock reserve now i am going to balance the branch account first we will total the credit side 8700 plus 250 plus 1820 plus 1500 plus 900 so the credit side total 13170 then we'll add the debit side debit side 1250 plus 700 plus 9100 plus 400 plus 340 plus 80 plus 300 so the debit total 12170 here the credit side total exceeds the debit side total so we'll write the highest value in the both side then deduct the debit side value we will get uh, 1000 rupees that we will consider as net profit transfer to general profit and loss account students let me see the fifth sixth problem students let me learn some number six look at the problem here also in this problem also the head of is sent to goods to branch at the uh, invoice price look at the problem Naga of Trichy. Naga of Trichy as a branch at Madras. Goods are sent by head office at invoice price, which is at the profit of 20% on cost price. So, cost plus 20%. So, cost we know 100 plus 20% on the cost so 20 rupees is the profit so cost plus profit we will get 120 that we called invoice price or selling price now we will find the profit percentage on cost profit percentage on cost given in the question that is profit 20 cost 100 20 by 100 is profit percentage on cost then with the help of this we can ascertain profit percentage on sales 
profit 20 so our selling price 120 so we'll take stock reserve with help of profit percentage on sales if profit percentage on cost is given we have to find a profit percentage on sales if profit percentage on sales is given we can use that profit percentage on sales directly by for taking stock reserve yes students now we'll continue all expenses paid by the head office prepare branch account opening balances are given already i don't format madras branch for the year and date not given so opening balances debited in the branch account to balance bd opening balances such as stock given in invoice price its value eleven thousand one hundred. then debtor opening balances given value thousand seven hundred then petty cash opening balance is given value 100 then goods sent to branch at the invoice price so goods sent to branch debited to the branch account given in invoice price value 20,000 then expenses paid by the head office expenses paid by the head office should be debited to bank under bank we have to write rent rent 600 wages wages 200 salary salary 900 then remittance made to head office cash sales cash collected from data cash sales and cash collected from data will add these two and uh, it will be sent to the head office by bank portal will send uh, cash sales and uh, cash collected from debtor cash sales 2650 cash collected from debtor 21000 so totally we sent 23650 then goods written by the branch to the head office so when we receive goods from the head office it will be debited when branch returns goods to head office it will be credited it is also given in invoice price invoice price returns to head office it will be given in invoice price its value 400 then balances at the end it will be credited in the branch account by balance cd stock given in invoice price value 13000 then data data 2000 then petty cash its value 25 first uh, we should look at the data related information opening data cash received from data and closing data are given opening data closing data cash received from data these three are important for preparation of branch account if these three are given we need not to prepare branch data account so we can ignore to prepare branch data account then we have to take stock reserve we have to take stock reserve on opening stock and uh, for goods sent to branch so for debit side we have to take stock reserve on opening stock and on goods sent to branch credit side items such as goods returned to head office and uh, closing stock for these two we should take stock reserve so debit side item for debit side item we will take stock reserve in the credit side credit side item such as return to head office and closing stock we will take stock reserve in the debit side so now we will take stock reserve on opening st stock stock reserve on opening stock opening stock value 11,100 11, we'll take profit percentage on sales for taking the stock reserve or we can say loading also so 11,100 11,100 into 20 by 120 1850 then we'll take stock reserve stock reserve on goods sent to branch goods sent to branch 20,000 into 20 by 120 so 20,000 into 20 by 120 stock reserve on goods sent to branch 3,333 rupees likewise we have to take stock reserve on returns to the head office in the debit side stock reserve on goods return to head office value 400 
into 20 by 120. So 400 into 20 by 120. So value 67. Likewise, we have to take stock reserve for closing stock to stock reserve on closing stock. Closing stock value 13,000. It should be multiplied by 20 by 120. So 13,000 into 20 by 120. So excess profit included 2167. Then I am going to total this branch account. First we will total the credit side. So credit side total we will write first 23,650 plus 400 plus 1,850 plus 3,333 plus 13,000 plus 2,000 plus 25. So the credit side total 44,258. Then we will add the debit side total. 11,100 plus 1,700 plus 100 plus 20,000 plus 600 plus 200 plus 900 plus 67 plus 2167. So the debit side total 36,834. Here the credit side total heavier than debit side total. So we'll write the heaviest value in the both side 44,258. 44,000. 258 deduct the debit total minus 44258 so the balancing amount 7424 considered as net profit net profit transfer to general profit loss account students uh, we completed two problem in this video in next class we'll solve different problem till then bye and uh, thank you